in partnership by Mad Maps. What's up guys? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. Uh, so today we are going to be unboxing the Smitty Belt X20 Winch Gen 3. This is the 10,000 pound winch. Uh, so apparently my channel is turning into a uh, unboxing in our channel and we're going to give uh, unbox therapy a run for his money. So uh, I've seen I've seen a good number of 12Ks uh, on YouTube. I haven't really seen any 10Ks. Uh, and then on top of that, whenever I, I went to get this, it was sold out, called them, and they actually just had one left in stock. So that's yeah, pretty darn lucky if you ask me. Before we actually unbox this, let's just go over the box itself. Uh, so like I said, Smitty Bill X20, 10,000 pound winch, seven horsepower. Uh, it shows that it has a rechargeable wireless remote uh, and available in 10K or 12K um, configurations with synthetic rope. <coughs> um, on the side, it talks about their warranty and whatnot, uh, their part numbers. On the back, uh, it talks about the remote again, and then it also talks about their control box light. Uh, I assume that this illuminates the area a little bit. Um, and from what I did see with the 12,000, I think there's like a signal wire that runs to this. So maybe that signal wire also provides signal for the whole winch. So you don't need like a, I guess you'd call it a junction box or like a power disconnect. Um, so that it doesn't drain your battery. Uh, and then it also shows you your other accessories that you can uh, get with this winch. And then it talks about how it's waterproof. And then on this side, it talks about the features. So seven horsepower motor, three, three stage planetary gear system, upgraded line speed, aluminum tie bar, customizable body armor. So you can change the color of the side plates. Hand and control box cables, illuminated control box light, wireless remote standard features, uh, rechargeable technologies, integrated flashlight, and magnetic mounting. Those three are all for the uh, wireless remote. Uh, it's the fair lead is aluminum. Uh, the cable is Daima rope. <laughs> I have no clue. Uh, so here's actually the waterproof rating, it's IP68, which is, I don't remember the depth, but it's also dustproof, I believe that IP68. Uh, the electrical warranty is five years, the mechanical warranty is lifetime. Um, removable warning card, I have no clue what that actually means, and instructions. So, and now we're back in the front. This just kind of goes over everything that you're going to see with the kit. I'm actually kind of excited about this hook. That hook looks pretty cool. Anyways, so now let's get in here. Uh, whenever you open up your box, this is what you're initially going to see. Let's go ahead and pull out all the uh, paper stuff. You get the instruction manual, which I actually like because I really don't like scanning a QR code or going to the website and getting the manuals from there. Uh, a little uh, like tips and tricks thing, I guess, to uh, keep your winch happy. Um, you can take a look at that. I'll also take a look at that later. Some more instructions. Also, USB port on the winch is a 12 volt power source. Do not plug devices other than remote into the USB remote port. Damage will occur. So there you go, there's that. Your warranty. We have the remote kit accessory kit and the fair lead first we're going to start off with the fair lead and just check this out when you open up this box there is i honestly have no clue what this is and then 
here's the fair lead. The fair lead's actually pretty nice. Um, it's pretty light. It seems pretty strong. I don't know. Uh, it is aluminum, like I said. I will most definitely be throwing this in the truck, but in the future, uh, may look to replace this with something that looks a little bit better. What really kills it for me is the X20. The X20 kind of seems a little like childish or like early 2000s style. Um, like I said, I actually really do not know what this is. I see that it does wrap and then it has Velcro on both sides and it's about that wide. So maybe this is what you put around the uh, winch, wa or winch line. Next, we're going to be diving into the accessories kit. All right, so first of all, we got some cables here, it looks like. And a couple brackets. So, once again, I have no clue what these uh, brackets are for. I'm going to have to look at the instructions. These cables are not labeled as to what they are for. If I had to guess, maybe power, ground, or negative maybe, and then ground to like the chassis or something like that. I, I truly do not know. So good thing that this came with instructions and this may be one of the only times for um, a truck part or something like that that I actually read the instructions for. Uh, so this is, the hook and what I'm actually noticing is this hook is a 12,000 pound hook so uh, it's, it makes sense for them to do that to save money but also if even if you're getting a 10,000 pound winch you're getting a 12,000 pound hook which is pretty nice and holy crap you could knock somebody out with this this is insane that is I mean you would have to use it, but that is some, that seems really strong. What I will say though is, I mean, it looks rugged, which is cool, but it kind of looks almost to the point where it looks a little cheap. Um, like, especially right here, the texturing. Like if this was like wrinkle paint or something like that, I could understand that, but I don't know. But it is a cheaper, uh, winch uh, a little bit cheaper than the uh, what's it called the worn winches but I mean who like it feels like it's going to hold very well like the little jet tag that goes on to your hook just like that uh, let's see here I have no clue once again what these are for and then we have some bolts and then finally for an accessories box we have the remote kit so let's check out this remote kit and then after this we can dive into the winch well that magnet picked up that bracket that bracket's not the heaviest but the magnet most definitely works which is actually a pretty cool idea slap it on your truck or whatever just so you guys can see but yeah, slap it on a truck or whatever, and so it's not laying in the mud. Um, the remote is like super light. Like it feels feels like a toy. It feels like there's nothing in there at all. It's a USB A to USB A, like uh, mail to mail. So I won't be able to charge this right now. Uh, but there is the flashlight right here, and then it says in on this side and out on this side. And if I remember correctly, there is some type of light that indicates which way you have it going. But I mean, like I said, this is really light. Don't know about all that. Here, here is your charging cable. Uh, also, if something happens with the wireless capabilities of the remote, you can connect this directly to the winch and use it like that. It's not only a charging cable. It does look like this has some like weather protection on the winch side. And then a huge grounding wire. Alright guys, so this is the actual winch itself. Uh, do not be fooled. 
that was not easy um, and it kind of took me by surprise. Whenever you guys lift this out of the box, most definitely take off the plastic bag first and I would hold it under the drums on both sides. Um, and it's like, maybe it could handle it, I'm not gonna try, but it's really like, um, it's really easy to want to grab this switch I would not suggest that. I don't know if it can um, hold up the weight of it, um, but I just want to do it. So anyways, on the winch itself, we have a massive power cable here. Not massive, but power cable here. Um, I believe this is the signal uh, cable right here. And we have a smaller ground cable back here which and the bolt is loose and it seems fairly large so maybe you take maybe you do take that smaller grounding cable uh, ground it to a chassis or your uh, metal bumper and that's how that will ground so this is the back side of the winch this is the side with all the cables and this is the grounding that I was talking about right here on the side we have our power switch on and off. Um, and then we have the USB uh, connection port right here. And then for the switch here, it's fairly large. It's really large actually. Uh, I do not see there being any issues um, grabbing this ever. But I'm assuming if you see free, free spool, it's free spool, turn it all the way around. Now it's engaged, um, but we are just gonna leave it in free spool for now, just because. Actually over here as well, you do see the, I'm assuming model number, part number, serial number, maybe. And then these little plates right here, I'm assuming is the, armor plates that you can customize and they are just little allen keys we are even though we're not installing this right now we are going to cut this off and we're going to see with the free spool oh yeah so i actually saw this video and he, the guy in the video was complaining about the free spool but i mean i just pulled it out with one arm not even attached to a truck I held it with the other and it came out just perfectly fine. So that is it for um, the Smitty Built X20 Gen 3 uh, 10,000 pound winch that I'm gonna be using on my Chevy Colorado ZR2 2021 in conjunction with the CBI uh, covert front bumper that has the bull bar on, on it. Uh, be, be on the lookout for an installation video. Um, last time around, since I am waiting on parts and the weather is just now getting nice, um, we're, I'm just now starting to get back on the ball of recording videos. Uh, so last time around, I was uh, uploading two videos so a week, uh, which doesn't really seem a lot, but I didn't really have to on that much content. So now we are going to be going to one video a week uh, on Wednesdays at 12 o'clock. Um, mountain standard time uh, so yeah so this video will actually be up two weeks from the time that I'm recording this and hopefully the installation video will be up one week after that the following or one week after the release date of this video uh, on Wednesday so I hope that makes sense I'm just doing it to not run out of uh, content for a while but I hope that you guys uh, are enjoying the series. Um, if you guys look down, I'm actually creating a playlist. Uh, so this will be the second video of the unboxing playlist. And then there's also an overlanding video, which the first overlanding video at the time of this will be three videos ago. Uh, and that was in Rampart Range. Um, with a crazy story to it. So go check that out. And then, there is the ZR2 build series. So I hope, once again, I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did enjoy it, please, please, please,
please leave a like. Uh, that's what really helps uh, drive the algorithm. Um, but yeah, peace out. I'll see you guys later. Look at someone and wonder what is going on inside their head.